They did not go there. They did not seriously make a threesome ad. They didn't know they didn't know. No. <laughs> Raise your hand if you just saw a Rise of Kingdoms ad right before this video. I mean, the odds are extremely high, and if it wasn't Rise of Kingdoms, it was probably Warpath or AFK Arena or some other game owned by Lilith Games. Like, these ads are literally everywhere, and almost every single one of them is so hard to watch. Like, they're so horrible that they're actually kind of funny, but when you really break it down, a lot of these ads could technically be illegal. So, later in the video, we're going to be talking about whether or not these mobile game ads are actually legal, but first, we're going to take a look at some more more horrible rise of kingdoms ads and as i always do i'm going to be giving you guys my honest opinions before we even click play you know this is going to be a beautiful ad because it uses the same jesus looking motherfucker that they use in every single one of their ads and it's literally called a terrible ad number 82 which i'm surprised this number isn't much higher by now anyway let's take a look dig a hole that's a hoe that's not what the fuck kind of emoji is this that is actually terrifying is that supposed to be happy where's his nose why are his eyebrows above his eyes i have only questions and no answers also he dug a hole for water and then all of a sudden it's a paradise great i'm sure this is exactly what rise of kingdoms is actually like let's continue okay oh he just turned that bolt he just beats up the boulder and it turns into a storehouse. And also, how fucking tall is this guy? Look at this. Like he's more than half the size of this entire building. Okay, okay. Let's just let's just see what happens. Let's be allies. Okay. Oh my god, we turned that boulder into another house, dude. This is great. What the fuck? This what this is nothing like the game. Okay, let's let's see where this ends up going. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just Oh, oh, we're just built. Okay. Dude, just gold dust, magic and fairy pixie dust bullshit. He went from hitting a rock with a hammer to, to what 12 seconds later, he's got an absolute fucking monarchy. This shit's got a canal system, bro. What the f what he did in 12 seconds takes real free to play players like three years to accomplish and they're not even going to have the moats, which reminds me, why don't we have fucking moats in rise of kingdoms, dude, that would be sick. That's literally it. There's no fighting. There's no war. There's no troops. There's no plots or anything. They just build a city in 20 seconds. This literally has no nothing to do with the game this is not what the game looks like or plays like at all whatsoever this ad is certified bullshit. okay let's go ahead and take a look at terrible ad number 72 i love how all these ads like the best i can do is 480p because they're just so low production quality lilith you got hundreds of millions of dollars you can't afford to pay your advertising team enough money to export in at least 720p whatever let's just jump into this which civilization should you start with Excuse me? What was that language? Civilization should you start with? What civilization should you start with? Uh, uh, <laughs> what Why does it sound like someone punched my man in the throat before he recorded this video? Like seriously, wh where do they find these people to narrate these these commercials? I, I don't get it. It's like they go out of their way to find the guy with the most fucked up voice. And look, no offense if it's you, but like, come on, dude. What is what is that? That's not your real voice. We know it's not. Sorry. Tangent. Let's just let's proceed. Start with. Um, maybe I would pick Egypt if it was in the fucking game. I've been saying for like a year they should put Egypt in the game because they already have commanders like Ramses and Cleopatra in the game and you could do it and it would be so cool and you know it would be cool because you put it in your ad. So we're all on the same page here that Egypt is a cool idea and you're here telling people that they could pick Egypt in your ads and then they download the game and it's not in the game. What the fuck? Yeah, okay, let's just, let's just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Abundant resource. Okay, let's proceed with the abundant resource. Your people will grow and thrive in a matter of days. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if your city could fucking look like that? Yeah, this is the Ark of Osiris map for those of you who haven't actually played the game. And I know it's hard to tell because it's blurry and looks like garbage. And that was that Cleopatra, those four pixels supposed to be Cleopatra right there. Let's take a look. Let's zoom in. Oh, yeah, that looked real good. You guys looked freaking great, man. Cleopatra looks so hot in this picture. My God. All right, let's see if they show off any other civilizations here. Oh, 
this looks sick that's the coliseum right there can you imagine how badass it would be if you could actually build monuments like that in your city in game what is what is this right here bah! Choose Roma. You work Roma. With the best commander, the best commander. Did he cut his fucking head off? What the fuck is that? Also, brute force solves everything. Like, it's like these ads are literally meant for like eight year old kids who run around with a styrofoam sword just terrorizing their parents all day. Oh, yeah, man, dude, violence is so freaking cool, man. I love violence. That shit's awesome, dude, man. This is sick. Like, just the idea of brute force solves anything, that, that is such an unsophisticated idea that you would think that a good advertisement wouldn't just spell it out for you. They would show it in some form or fashion. So when they sit down in their boardroom and think, okay, how do we go ahead and tell people that this game is all about about brute force? Oh, we'll just say it out loud so they fucking know. Like, come on, you couldn't be a little bit more creative. I mean, the CGI doesn't look half bad here. You didn't have to spell it out. Like, I'm not a complete moron. Okay, before you put the comment, just be nice to me, okay? All right, let's just. I think he cut his head off there. <laughs> Excuse, excuse me Wh which 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 commander is this this oh is is this minamono or or kusunoki hmm that's weird how do you fuck that up it says it right here and you still wrote this are you even trying i will say though this is the first in-game footage we've seen all advertisement and yet they still managed to mess it up and also they don't even have him unlocked this ad is just hot dog shit, okay <laughs> challenge me again with the voiceover it's almost racist like it almost is because like they hired a guy and they're like dude just sound japanese bro just sound like a regular japanese dude and then he just puts on this accent like the fuck who is seriously downloading your game because of ads like this holy shit how many of y'all tried clicking that skip ad button throughout this video? I know you did it. I know you did it, bro. All right, let's take a look at Rise of Kingdoms Terrible Ad 25. I am literally just picking these at random. I haven't seen these ads before. So let's just take a look. This looks like we're in the real world here. So this is great. Hi, honey. That's the face of a fucking legend. Get out of my way, woman. I'm playing a mobile game. I feel so bad for the actors because, like, this is just dog shit, dude. Oh, boy. All right, let's see where this goes. I'm almost broke. Could you help me out? Sure. No problem. Wait a minute. He ignores his wife so he can play a game where he gives resources to a girl because he's got infinity of them. He's got infinity fucking gems, dude. Look, it's Baba. Uh, just so we're clear, this is not what Baba looks like. Baba's actually quite beautiful. I'm sure you've seen him in videos before. And just, can we talk about this? Like, who sees this ad and is like, I want to be like that fat fuck on the couch there with my phone. And listen, I'm not body shaming because I'm kind of a chunky bitch too, but I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to be like that. Come on. You don't want to, that's not what you are aspiring to be, right? If you, if I told you, if you download this game, you're going to look like that. You're going to be like, fuck, no, I'm good, dude. Almost broke. Could you help me out? Sure, no problem. Had some gold. <sighs> Thanks, Dave. You really saved my butt. Uh -oh. Oh, that's Dave. Okay, great. Also, look, look, his his emblem is not what he looks like. He just looks like some black and white giga chat over here. Meanwhile, he's catfishing you, looking like that on the couch with his cheap liquor. Anyway. <laughs> A little help over here, Dave. <laughs> Oh, look at this, man. Dude, Dave is not happy that his, his internet bay is getting attacked. Let's see what happens. Attacked. Let me just take care of that for you. You're a lifesaver. Oh, my I God. I owe you big time. Listen, ladies, it's just too dangerous to be left out here alone. Why don't you both move in with me? Let me protect you. No, they, they, no way, dude. They did not go there. They did not seriously make a threesome ad. They didn't, no, they didn't, no, no. <laughs> we gotta watch that again. Ladies, it's just too dangerous to be left out here alone. Why don't you both move in with me? He's got a point. Let me protect you. Sounds good. You're my hero. Listen, Sarah Michelle, I'm just a guy trying to look after my two favorite girls. Who the fuck is Sarah and Michelle? What? 
build your own uh see this ad is specifically targeted at people who are lonely and think that maybe downloading a mobile game like rise of kingdoms is going to give them some sort of social interaction where they're going to meet women and in this case you'll have multiple women living with you like that is such an absolutely ridiculous fantasy. And the worst part is that the community in Rise of Kingdoms is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty cool. Like, yeah, I know it's super toxic and a lot of it's pretty trash, but compared to other games, like at least there's actually a community. And sometimes you'll be surprised if you jump into Lost Kingdom chat or even in a brand new kingdom chat, you'll, you'll meet people, you'll talk about stuff. I've met some really cool people because of this game, but ads like this, are trying to mislead people into thinking that you're gonna get women so warming you just by downloading a free-to-play mobile strategy game like my god how f***ing awful could it be okay now remember earlier when i said that these ads actually could be illegal well this article was posted by the bbc back in october of 2020 specifically talking about homescapes and Gardenscapes ads that were shown on Facebook. Now, these two games are obviously owned by the same company. They have pretty similar gameplay styles, and I'm sure that you've probably seen some ads for these games because they are literally everywhere. So basically, there were a couple of complaints around two specific ads, and they were reported to the Advertising Standards Authority, which, as far as I can tell, seems to be part of the UK. And essentially, the complaint was that they showed a game where users pull pins in a specific order to solve a puzzle though the actual games had totally different core gameplay and I'm sure you guys have seen these ads before I don't know why these pull the pin ads are all over the place but like every single mobile game developer has tried some sort of pull the pin ad I don't know if it's because like these ads they pose an obvious solution and then it, they show somebody intentionally failing at it so maybe the conversion rate for these is really good because even dumb people People can figure it out and they, oh well I could do that I'm gonna download it and show them how smart I am I don't know why these ads are everywhere okay but basically people complain saying hey this is literally not what the game is these two games if you guys didn't know homescapes and gardenscapes are some of those like match three puzzle games like this is what the games actually look like so basically the asa ruled that playrix which is the company responsible for the ads for homescapes and gardenscapes shouldn't be using these ads ever again like the action taken was they must not appear again in the form complained of meaning you know they can still do ads they just can't do misleading pull the pin ads because that's not what the game's core is about which brings us back to rise of kingdoms because you can see over here we have an ad that is showing the game of you chopping down wood in a forest there's all sorts of foliage and you know fungus and stuff and then everybody knows that you know this is what the game looks like this is actually rise of kingdoms over here i mean all it takes is a quick google search to see tons of screenshots and videos of misleading ads from rise of kingdoms so the real question becomes how is this not considered false advertising especially when we see things like the homescapes and gardenscapes ads being pulled in other countries why isn't that happening in the united states for example now i don't remember where i saw the video but i'm pretty sure it was a video by the game theorists where they talk about why these mobile game ads are sort of allowed to be misleading or false advertising and essentially it boils down to the fact that these games are free to play so when a consumer files a complaint about this ad the government looks at the complaint and says okay what damages have you suffered and usually it's pretty much nothing right because you see the ad you download the game the game is not what you think and you delete it so sure you wasted a few minutes but the game was free so you didn't actually spend any money and therefore you didn't suffer any consequential damages now you may be saying omniarch you know that that's fine but you know you can still spend money in these games which makes the ads still misleading and trust me i know microtransactions have exploded in the last couple of years and these mobile games are some of the most profitable games on the entire planet right now but here's the thing by the time you start to make purchases is you've already sort of figured out that the game is not like the ad like by the time you start spending money in rise of kingdoms you know that this is not the game that you signed up for right but you're spending money anyway and so because you actually have to be sort of invested and play the game a little bit it's almost impossible to claim that you were misled through false advertising because by the time you make it to the in-game shop you already know what the actual game looks like and you're choosing to spend that money regardless now it's still false advertising because because the advertisement is showing footage 
of what claims to be the game and then when you download it it's simply not and so it's not accurately representing the product that you're getting however when you take a look at the governing bodies responsible for handling cases such as these i'm sorry but they just have more important things on their plate they have people who are actually suffering massive losses from real scams if a product claims to cure cancer and then somebody actually dies from it that's a way bigger problem on their plate than you know hey somebody wasted 30 seconds downloading rise of kingdoms and it wasn't what it turned out to be so in the grand scheme of things these mobile game ads being free to play makes them sort of so far off the radar that governing bodies just don't really pay too much attention which i hope changes soon because i am so tired of seeing these horrible ads for these mobile games and again it's not just rise of kingdoms man it's every mobile game out there anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it lets me know that this is some more content that you want to see if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon Peace.